Chapter 7 of Angel Food for Jack and Jill Little Talks to Little Folks by Rev. Gerald T. Brennan. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Maria Therese. Chapter 7 The Brightest Star. Do you know that there are millions of stars in the sky? Yes, there are. Some stars are very large and shine brightly, other stars are very small and can't be seen at all. Now, this morning, I want to tell you a story about a star, a star that was once the brightest star in the sky. It seems that, when God made the stars, he made one star larger and brighter than all the rest, and he gave that star the first place in the sky. God put that brightest star right in the center of the sky. Of course, the brightest star knew that it was very important. In fact, the star used to smile when other stars tried to outshine it. The brightest star knew that it was God's favorite, and no other star could take that honor from it. Night after night, the brightest star could be seen by people on this earth. Farmers, doctors, lawyers, sailors at sea, and little children looked up at the sky and admired the star. It was always there. The star was always shining brightly. I suppose you know that on the night Jesus was born, all the stars tried to shine brighter than usual. But none of the stars beat the brightest star. Why, on that first Christmas night, the brightest star shone like a searchlight in the sky. It even lighted up the cave of Bethlehem for Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Of course, God was pleased with the bright star that night, and the star was happy because it pleased God. After that first Christmas night, however, the brightest star did something that did not please God. The star became very proud. The star knew that it was the best star in the sky and it looked down on all the other stars. The brightest star wouldn't play with the other stars or even notice them. The smaller stars tried to be friendly, but the brightest star paid no attention to them. Now God knows everything, and he knew what his favorite star was doing. God wanted all of his stars to be friendly, but the brightest star spoiled everything. Well, God thought about the brightest star for a long, long time, and then he decided to act. Do you know what God did to the brightest star? He punished it. First of all, God changed the brightest star into a very small star. Then he moved the star from the center and placed it away over in the corner of the sky. For hundreds of years, that tiny star has remained in the corner of the sky. Night after night, it has tried to shine brightly, but it is only a tiny speck in the sky, and most of the time it cannot be seen. The star knows now that it made a terrible mistake. It would still be the brightest star in the sky, but pride spoiled everything. That star must remain as it is. Why? Because the star was too proud. Almighty God has a place in this world for each one of you children. He has given each one of you certain gifts, and to some he has given more gifts than to others. Everything you have has come from God. Never forget that. Now God wants you to use your gifts for his honor and glory. He doesn't want you to be proud. If you have more gifts and talents than other boys and girls, God wants you to be humble, and he wants you to use your gifts in the right way. God doesn't want you to be a show-off. Very often you will meet some boys and girls who act just like the brightest star. God has given them extra gifts, and they feel that they are better than other boys and girls. If some boys or girls learn easily, or get high marks in school, or become the star of the class, what happens to them? They become proud and hold their heads up high. Now that's a sin. It's a sin of pride. Don't forget that God doesn't like proud people. God punished Satan because he was proud. God punished the brightest star because it was proud. If you are proud, God may punish you too. Don't ever get the idea that you are better than any of your companions. If you have a better home or wear finer clothes than your friends, you should thank God for being so good to you. If you can do things better or quicker than other children, it's because God has blessed you. Don't ever look down on your companions. Don't be proud. A proud child never has many friends. Remember, God likes each star just as he made it, and God likes you just as he made you. The next time you are out at night, Look up at the sky and see the beautiful stars, but don't try to look for that tiny star in the corner of the sky, because you won't be able to find it. Let that tiny star teach you a lesson. Don't be proud. 
End of chapter 7